My project is titled Medical Students' Perception and Attitude Before and After Implementing Patient Safety Curriculum in Pediatric Clerkship. I started writing the final proposal in Jan. And I proposed my progress report in February. I got the IRP approval in February and I started to form my project team starting from Jan. I presented my plan to my by school and it was preliminary an integrated part of the uh, pediatric curriculum, uh, which is going to be teached in the pediatric module, which is was a plan to start on March. When we reached March, we faced the COVID-19 lockdown time, and all the face-to-face -face activities have been shifted to be online, and the uh, financial burdens that this online courses have on the students uh, the educational boards in our faculty recommended that online teaching should be only restricted to the module. So uh, I faced a problem that I no longer able to integrate my project or my module within the pediatric module, which have been transformed from face-to-face to -face and to an online. So I started to search uh, to identify the current body of knowledge relating to uh, patient safety. I uh, reviewed the literature, the books, uh, the websites, and the curricula which have been teached in other sites uh, to find an ideal model that I can apply and use as a cornerstone or a seed uh, for my uh, project. I started to formulate the activities which I'm intending uh, to use uh, and the activities then grouped into categories termed learning areas. This ended by the end of March. Uh, then I analyzed uh, this learning areas and broken it down into major subject areas and determined them learning topics and I grouped this learning topics uh, and uh, within a framework and were endorsed by the reference group and the steering committee. Once I get the approval from the steering committee, uh, I start revising the WHO patient safety curriculum guide for medical schools at the model which was chosen to be used in the project and I ended this by last July. In May, uh, I proposed my uh, second progress report and I highlighted the challenges and the problems that I'm facing in implementing my project and that intended to transform it from a face-to-face -face, uh, teaching uh, activity to an online. I started designing the online module and preparing the module material. I started this. Uh, since July, August, and I'm currently working in this. I am intending and hope that I can publish the module online uh, starting from uh, October and November. If I manage to gather a reasonable number of students that's coming engaged to uh, this elective online module, uh, I will proceed for a data analysis and writing the final proposal. If I didn't, I may extend to uh, February and I started the data analysis after that. The challenges I met to adapt uh, my methodology with the COVID-19 time, which was uh, replacing the possible face-to-face -face meetings already planned with an open distant meetings and reviewing the activity plans according to the restrictions measures and extended the scope of planned or ongoing activity to cover also the COVID-19. I intended to add part to this uh, module which will be titled patient safety in crisis time because our students currently are facing a time which we didn't face when we were students. We didn't face a time of a pandemic. Uh, patient safety within crisis time is an important element of the um, patient safety program. And although it is uh, a very deficient knowledge about this in the literature, I'm still searching to formulate a chapter in my module or a topic, a learning topic, is going to be titled vision safety within crisis. Uh, I extended the use of online tools to overcome the COVID-19 restriction, and I shifted from making uh, this uh, topic just an integrated part of the pediatric module to be open to all, all the uh, Faculty of Medicine students. Thank you.